and the problem requires that the lamp should turn on when out of three at least any two switches are closed and thus it means that it will be on if any of the two switches are closed or even if all the three switches are closed consider the switches namely a b and c so the condition required is that the lamp should turn on if switch a and switch b is closed or switch b and c is closed or switch a and switch c is closed if the situation is such that all the switches are closed then it automatically satisfies that at least any two input switches are closed and thus the output lamp will lit so when we draw the letter from this then we have an operation between a and b or with that is a parallel branch with the and operation between b and c or with that is a parallel branch with the and operation between a and c the letter for the same is explained in the next slide <coughs> the use of plc in manufacturing process just with its on off action one can know the status and also faults in the ongoing process any practical application will have a feel for which control action is required which is provided using plc and the field signal should reach to plc and in turn plc output must be given to the field again for proper control action therefore from field some switches and sensors will be required to make field signal reach devices which make that signal compatible to plc and similarly for the output side thus communication devices and user interfaces are also provided in order to chain set points through it thus you will require all the units as shown in the slide this slide shows symbol for pressure limit switches and symbol for temperature limit switches there are many others for flow and also liquid level switches etc we have finished with the symbols for the input required in the letter diagram the next slide we will talk about the output symbol used in the letter diagram the input switch a when pressed will activate that particular relay coil that is coil a here for b when pressed will activate coil b and for c let that coil in bracket c b c for the first operation a into b we draw the no contact of b and a in series that is and operation for an operation between b and c we will draw the other branch with b and c contact and for and operation between c and a we will draw the no contact of c as shown so that it comes in series with the contact a and thus when you solve the letter you will see that the lamp will light only when out of p at least any two of the contacts is closed and this will happen when any two of the three switches will be pressed the truth table in the previous slide shows the four cases for which the output lamp will light out of which two cases are presented on this slide hence i'll wait for you so that you learn these two cases which are explained with the animations